Hi crazy critters! So you're probably wondering why are you all the way back there? I did want the babies to be the primary focus of this video just because all of these babies are for sale. Um, I will have my reborns.com in the description and if you don't want to go through there I will also leave my Instagram in the description. You can just message me on there if you're interested in any of these babies. Um, if you're interested in the price you can click on the reborns.com but if you don't want to buy through there you can always just message me on Instagram. So yeah, all of these babies are for sale. This is the Eloise kit, Warren kit, Remington kit, um, Real Born Steven and Real Born Marnie. So yeah, but aside from me selling the babies, um, today is a very, very exciting video. I know a lot of people struggle with bonding and all that. So we're just going to have a little bit of a chit chat, chill video. And yeah, hopefully I can help um, you guys, if you are having problems with bonding and stuff of that sort. So if you don't know what Reborns are, which if you're watching this video, I'm going to assume you do, but if not, I'll explain it very briefly. Reborns are very realistic dolls that people may collect for many different kinds of reasons. Um, they may not be able to have their own biological kids. They may suffer from anxiety. You know, some people just like to collect dolls. You are valid for whatever reason you would like to collect Reborns, but those are just some of the reasons why people may have these. So another uh, thing I wanted to explain is like what is a bond because some people might not know what that is. A bond is a special connection that you have with a reborn and you know you can think a reborn is cute but until you have it you're not able to really form a connection with that specific baby. So that's what a bond is. It isn't just being like, oh, I really like the look of that doll. It's I'm able to form a connection with them, uh, do certain things. And it's basically having a positive bond is essentially the feeling of having a forever baby, which you would never want to sell from your collection. You want to keep them forever because you have this amazing bond and whatnot. So reasons that you cannot bond. There's many, many reasons why somebody might, may not be able to bond. One of the reasons, I feel like this is potentially one of the main reasons, is preferences. So some people, me specifically, may not be able to um, bond with painted hair. This painted hair could be the most amazing, realistic hair in the entire world, but I still cannot bond with it. So that's one thing that I came to terms with when, when it came to uh, buying Reborns. I just decided to never look at painted hair because I would really like it and like just the look of the doll. I'd want to get it. I would have the doll after spending, you know, however much money and I couldn't bond with it. So there are certain preferences that you may not be able to get past. For me, um, for a decent period of time, I didn't think I could bond with um, sleeping babies because I just hadn't really. I've been trying to change that because there's just so many adorable sleeping kits. Um, and I think it's just easier for outings in general. So I have been trying to use some of the tips that I'm going to talk about in today's video for my own personal collection. So yeah, um, open eyed and I do have notes back here on my iPad. So you know, preferences such as like open eyed specific um, uh, eye color for me, I only really bond with uh, dolls that have dark eyes, stuff like that. Um, you know, you may be able to work past some of the preferences, but not all of them. Uh, gender is another thing that you may not be able to bond with. Um, some people may specifically only bond with girl babies or boy babies. So if you do find a specific kit that looks like one of those, you know, like a boy or a girl, maybe you just aren't able to bond with it that way. Um, so, and that's one thing I will get into with like things you can do to help your bonding. Uh, we will talk about gender then. Um, bad shipping experience can also uh, cause a bond to not be able to form. Say you have a doll and say it gets lost in shipping and it takes like a crazy amount of time to get to you, that can potentially ruin a bond because you just, you look at the doll and you relate it to that terrible shipping experience. And that is definitely a valid reason to not maybe have a bond at first, but I do think some of the things that I can talk about um, can help you build that back up rather than the preferences, which are kind of hard to get past that if you just, you know, don't personally like it. So, 
for ways to uh, bond or rekindle your bond, there's a ton of reasons for those, or I guess a ton of different things that you can do for that. So the first thing um, is, we'll go back into the gender thing, is, you know, changing the gender. You know, it's super easy to just put on some clothes, um, and it kind of gives your baby a fresh start as well. Say you don't have a preference for boy and girl, but you have a bad bond, you know, formed, you can always switch the gender, change the name if you have a negative like connotation like towards that name because of your experience, and say you do build a bond and it's positive and you feel good about it, and say you really, really like that name before, you can always switch it back. If you don't have a preferences for gender, you can always switch it back to what it was before once you have, you know, that fresh start of, okay, let's get past the negative stuff and let's work to bond this baby. Another thing that you can do is role play. Not everybody's into role play and that's completely fine. Um, one suggestion I have for role play when getting into it is this app called, I think it's called like Babysit Me or something like that. I'll put like a, a screenshot like over here of it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It is the perfect segue into role play if you're not in, if you haven't been into that before. It basically, um, you put your baby's name and there's different difficulties of like how often you want these notifications will pop up. The notifications will pop up and it'll say, we'll just say the baby's name is Eloise. Eloise is hungry, time to feed her. Eloise needs to be burped, needs to be changed, you know, things like that. It's really good if you don't really know how to get into it yourself. It just leads you through everything. You can turn it off whenever. It's just, it's a really good time. Plus, it helps you bond even more because you really feel like your baby is dependent on you because it does need those things from you. So it's a really good way to bond. Another way to bond is um, changing your baby and just cuddling with your baby. Just kind of taking time for you and them to just relax and enjoy each other's company. Um, I think, you know, getting your baby into a special little outfit is really nice. You could go on an outing, pick something up, take them home. You can binge watch your favorite show. You can do whatever you want. That's the joy of Reborns is you can enjoy them however you'd like. So watching and cuddling, watching a movie and cuddling with your baby is a really good way to bond, such as dressing your baby in the special outfit. If you have an Instagram or are big on social media, you can always take pictures of them and post them. That's another way to build a bond just because you're seeing, you're getting them in their cute poses and you're taking these adorable pictures and you're seeing them online for other people to enjoy and for you to enjoy as well. It's just a really good way to bond. Another thing that you can do um, is going on outings, which I would suggest to everybody and anybody. Outings are so much fun, and if you are nervous on outings, I have had a couple people uh, comment on some of my videos, like asking me specific things uh, about like what they should do on outings, so I'll give you some of my tips and tricks. So first off, when we go on outings, we don't always want people to come up to us. I kind of get like that sometimes where Yes, positive attention is nice and it makes you feel good because people think your baby is real, but at the same time, you might not always want people to come up to you and ask you how old your baby is and stuff like that. So if you have a car seat, you can always, they sell like nursing covers, which like really hug the car seat nicely. And there's like a little people at the top. So if you want to pull it down to where you can see your baby, but nobody else can, that's a really nice way to go on outings and still enjoy your baby. If you have a stroller, you can do the same thing. If it's uh, just like a regular stroller, you can just drape a blanket on top of it. Or if it's one of the ones where the car seat snaps in, you can do what I talked about previously. If you don't have one of those, it's perfectly fine. You don't need one. Uh, you can always get a blanket. It serves the same purpose. Another thing you can do if you don't have either one of those, which once again, that's completely fine. Um, you can, I have seen somebody do this on Instagram before, you can bring a purse, so that way, uh, like a big purse, you know the baby is there with you, you won't have other people coming up to you and bothering you, you can put a baby in there, and you can put a nice little blanket on it, so that way if you want to, you know, see your baby, you can open it up and just peek in and say hi or whatever, um, if you want to hold your baby, 
say you didn't have a purse and want to bring a purse, which that is fine once again. You can hold your baby and you can bring uh, like a larger blanket, doesn't really matter what kind of blanket, and you can wrap it around the baby so that way it is just covering the entire baby. If the baby is covered, people most likely aren't going to come up to you, um, but when they see, like say I was holding this baby right here, and they see the tiny little legs and the arms, they're like, oh my gosh, it's so small, and you know, you get into that whole thing. Um, another thing you can do in terms of holding your baby and having a blanket, you can drape it over your shoulder. Similar, like if somebody was nursing, uh, you're holding the baby um, and the blanket is just on your shoulder, just kind of draped across your chest. You definitely won't have people coming up to you and asking to see your baby um, because it's completely covered. So um, that's something you can do for outings if you are uncomfortable. You know, people will come up to you just because babies grow so fast that when they see a small baby, they just get excited. And yes, for us, it does make it a little uncomfortable, but it's okay. If somebody comes up to you, you are fine. You don't have to explain anything if you don't want to. If they ask how um, old your baby is, you can just say, I'm in a hurry, sorry. You know, you don't have to talk to these people if you don't want to. But outings is a really good way to um, build a bond and do something fun and back to um, getting a cute outfit for your baby. Um, you can get, you can just go to Walmart, you know, you can pick up a cute outfit, come home, you know, brush their hair. Um, if they do have hair, you can get them dressed up in their outfit and just enjoy each other's company. And that's the main thing about Reborns is it's really just about enjoying, enjoying the baby and you know, say these tips don't help for you, it ended up being like a preference thing, or you just can't bond, it is okay to sell your baby if that's what it comes to. Um, I have sold many babies because um, I just can't bond, and I know that's really hard when you really want to bond, but sometimes you're just not able to, and there's only so much you can do to try and rekindle it, and I tried to give as many things as I can for this bit, this video, if you guys would like a part two, I do apologize if you hear my iPad going off, but if you, uh, oh my gosh, I completely forgot what I was saying, I completely forgot what I was saying, I, that's why I hate having notifications on, I thought I turned them off, oh yeah, but if you would like a part two, uh, for bonding things, and more things you can do, definitely let me know. Um, like I said, um, or maybe I didn't say this, but if I didn't say this, in the comments you guys can ask me any sort of questions that you have about outings, bonding, anything for your specific situation, and I can try my best to help. Now, if I don't have an answer to that specific question, you know, anybody in the comments is welcome to help other people out. We are a big reborn family, you guys. We need to stick together, be positive, help each other out. And yeah, so before I end this video, I'm just going to give close-ups of each baby, um, just because I know Miss Marnie over here is looking a little crazy, and I want to show you guys, you know, their faces and stuff like that. So ugh, let me scooch up really fast. I will make this quick. So here is Mi Mr. Steven right here. He's very, very cute. He's about newborn size. Um, he's weighted with glass beads. All of them are weighted with glass beads and all of them do have pacifiers. This is Remington right here, grumpy little baby. Has rooted brown hair and glass eyes. Super cute. Remington looks uh, really good as a boy or a girl. And then Marnie over here, this one I made. I did make Steven, I did not make Remington. But here's Marnie, here's her limbs. She's so cute and a very good cuddler. And then we have Warren right here, which is made by the amazing Felicity Art Dolls on Instagram. I couldn't bond with this one because um, of the size. I really only bond with like larger newborn size babies. And this baby is about, I think it's like 17.5 inches, um, I believe. Um, but they are preemie size. So yeah, that's Warren. Works really good as a boy or a girl. And then Miss Eloise over here. Here's what she looks like. Um, she <laughs> wears zero to three months and she's here. Let me scoot that back. She is huge. It's hard to tell, but she's weighted very, very heavy. Here's her little face. 
She's so cute. I love this kit so, so much. Um, yes, I don't know if I said, I, I'm sorry guys, I have like the memory of like a goldfish. I forget basically everything after I say it. Um, but I made her myself. I made her Warren and um, her Warren and Marnie. So yeah, but if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It helps me out a lot. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, please leave them down below and I would be more than happy to help you guys out. If you'd like a part two, um, let me know as well or any sort of like uh, reborn video suggestions, let me know down below. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next